all our lives. Performers just like me dream of accepting an award just like this. Not only that, but we dream of accepting an award from one of our heroes. I am so honored to be standing here before you today accepting the award for the International Guitar Marketing Competition. First, I want to thank you, the audience, for listening to me all week, play, compete with these fellow amazing guitarists, and also applauding, encouraging us to keep going. Judges, I can't express to you how thankful I am for you picking me, of course, but judging down to the last note for your time and for your consideration for all of us. This is a world-renowned competition, and I know that this isn't something to be taken lightly. I don't take it lightly, and I would be amiss to not, first not stop and give all the glory to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for all the talent that he's given me. But through my weaknesses, I have extremely small hands. No, everyone would say that I wasn't the person to play like the classical guitar. He works directly through my fingers, and I don't take any of the credit for the, the way that I play the guitar. Now, guitar is what I do, but it's people that make it worth doing. I want to thank my parents for not only supporting me financially through my college career and through my, um, my, my guitar career, but also supporting me emotionally, encouraging me, telling me that it's okay and to keep going. My father has always encouraged me to reach a little further than I thought I could go. My mother encouraged me when things looked bleak, when I felt like giving up and not practicing anymore, encouraged me, keep going. My siblings and my best friends, home and here at college, keep, thank you for all of your encouragement, all of your cheerleading. I couldn't have done this without you. But what is a student without their mentor? What is a student without your mentor? That is what I was considering when I was writing this speech for my award acceptance ceremony. My first teacher, Serena Eves, instilled in me love for guitar and the humility that it requires to be a musician. Lennis de Brava, you are the sound master. You have given me all of the tools in order to create tonal colors, the things we all love about guitar. My, to my DU mentors, thank you for teaching me the technique to keep my arm from not falling apart, and from making me able to actually reach further than I thought my, I was able to do myself. To my Pepperdine mentors, Kevin Enstrom, you have taught me the technique about knowing myself and knowing my playing, how I perform, and how I am able to take these techniques and implement them all throughout this week. And finally, to the most inspirational mentor anyone could ask for, Professor Christopher Parkman, who not only had single-handedly given me this opportunity by your legacy and by passing the torch on to me and these other guitarists from Andrea Segovia, but you've also been inspiring. You have inspired me since I was just eight years old to play the classical guitar for the glory of God and for the world. Now, we are here in Malibu, and I would be totally missing the mark if I didn't mention the ocean. <coughs> the ocean and music are very similar. They have the same creator, and that creator works in them very similarly to move in people, to move all of us. I hope that this week, these two have moved in you guys, that you've seen the ocean, but also been moved through my music. I hope that you leave this competition moved by the creator of both of them. Thank you.